welcome everybody. Um, this is going to be a, a fun ride uh, for the next 25 minutes, and I'll do my best to also leave five minutes for questions. Uh, because from previous experience, there's always a lot of questions. So you can see the unique topic that we have today is growing cannabis without the plant. And if I have to elaborate a little bit, it's all about growing full spectrum, non-GMO cannabis without the plant. Um, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, helping you understand the, the, the overall unique technology and the, and the science that we have as it relates to our platform technology. And then I'm going to really delve in and show you how we make the magic happen from an overall uh, cannabis perspective. Before I begin, we're a public company. We're registered on the uh, CSC, we're listed on the CSC. And so um, I'm just going to ask you to quickly read the forward looking statements. You can all read much faster than uh, I can uh, talk. So just have a quick, uh, quick read of this. Okay, let's, uh, let's get ready to, to rock and roll. So, firstly, introducing Biohafer Sciences, where I have the, I'm the privilege to be the CEO uh, of this amazing company that's really breaking biological uh, barriers. We are the global leaders in plant cell biology. And we've been able to achieve this by building the capabilities to unlock the secrets of cellular plant biology like no other company. And with this knowledge base that we've acquired literally over the last 12 years, the company started in 2009, we are able to bring the world the next generation science-based therapeutics with a very comprehensive IP portfolio and addressing a $500 billion plus potential marketplace. So what is the problem? ladies and gentlemen, that we're trying to solve. In our world, Mother Nature provides perfect active medicinal compounds that through evolution, um, we've been able to leverage the power of these unique medicinal compounds. But Mother Nature provides them inefficiently. And when man has got involved with technology, they've really failed to deliver these unique active medicinal compounds in a consistent way. They've started to add fertilizers, challenges with heavy metals, the cost structure from a grow and extraction perspective are very expensive. And as everybody knows in the, in the cannabis world, we have many challenges as it relates to how we partner with our environment. So we at BioHarvest, we have developed a unique platform technology that we call BioPlant Solicitation. And this is the only industrial scale platform that brings patentable plant-based therapeutic solutions which maintain the original natural compound structure, so we are non-GMO, our full spectrum, bringing the power of all the polyphenols from certain fruits, all the cannabinoids together, leveraging the full spectrum systematic effect. And our platform allows us to do this in a consistent and repeatable way, all without having to grow the plant. The platform provides the ability to bring these medicinal active compounds in a way which are fingerprint consistent. As we grow these active compounds in our bioreactors, we're able to grow them with aseptic cleanliness. We have unique composition because of the full spectrum perspective and non-GMO. We have been able to scale our platform to be able to do this at a low cost structure from an overall COGS perspective, as well as you'll see a little bit later, the overall capital requirements are significantly lower compared to what regular cannabis companies are required to invest on a per ton production basis. And importantly, 
sustainability is at the core of our technology. And in fact, we recently, as a public company, we released an ESG sustainability report last year, in the middle of last year, which was extremely well received by the public and really demonstrated our leadership in this area. Let me talk a little bit about the bio plant solicitation platform. First, we start with the plant. We go through a selection process to identify the specific um, active medicinal compounds that we're going after. To, we grow these active compounds in our unique aseptic bioreactors. And as we grow, we go through an elicitation process where we're able to work some magic with these active compounds. And this provides us with a unique, repeatable, and patentable phytochemical compounds. We have been able to validate this unique platform and the power of the platform already across a number of different products which we're bringing commercially to the marketplace. We have a red gray product, which is based on the French paradox. I'll touch on this a little bit later, which leverages the power of Pisces resveratrol, a very unique polyphenol. We're the only company in the world that's able through our process to produce Pisces resveratrol from the skin of the red grape together with a number of other critical polyphenols <clears throat> working together in a full spectrum, impactful way. And through our solicitation process, we're able to increase the Pisces resveratrol concentration by 100 times. And similarly, in our pomegranate cell product, we increase the important PGG polyphenol by 10 times. And in olives, we have a very unique polyphenol. And one of, one of the only companies that's able to provide this unique polyphenol called verboscoside from the leaf of the olive, and we're able through our process to increase this by five times. The market, addressable market that we're playing in is significant with our platform technology. Today, we play in the nutraceutical space, and we will shortly be launching a unique grade of cannabis into the cannabis market. And then opportunities for us as we look at third verticals for the company to go after in areas like botanical drugs, psychedelics, traditional Chinese medicine, and protein growth factors. Just helping to understand our unique bioplant solicitation platform technology, we take the plant once, we isolate the key, the key cells with the active ingredients that we're going after. We also store our cells in a cell bank, so we have that continuity, that fingerprint consistency. We grow it in the bioreactors, we go through a solicitation process and a bio drying process as we harvest these unique cells in our bioreactors when they reach a certain body mass and we're left with the most amazing soluble and bioavailable and highly active ingredient. The first validation of our technology is a product that we call Vinia. Vinia is based on the French paradox <clears throat> where the French population they have a very fatty diet, lots of pate, lots of butter, lots of fats, but they generally have very good cardiovascular health. When the scientists went to understand this, they realized that this was derived from moderate consumption of red wine. That's two to three glasses of red wine every single day. When they went deeper to understand, they realized it was from the combination of a unique polyphenols, full system effect, of Pisces resveratrol together with catagen, coercetin, anticyanines, and tannins. And with this unique product, we're able, <clears throat> through clinical trials, we've been able to demonstrate all done double blind placebo, published in peer reviewed scientific journals, the ability to significantly increase flow mediated dilation of the arteries, which is all about increasing blood flow through increasing the nitric oxide in the body and reducing the ET1. And these are some of the structure function claims that we make in the US market <clears throat> based on our scientific research as we sell this product as a dietary supplement. I encourage all of you, go check out vinia.com, learn about the product and you can understand the power of the platform that we're now utilizing 
uh, for, our, <clears throat> for our birth of this unique cannabis product. We've been able to build a commercial machine. We sell this product only in e-commerce, direct to consumer. That's the model that we built in little, in little Israel, where we started selling this product literally last year in 12 months. We sold 1.75 million US dollars just in e-commerce, just in little Israel, the population of eight and a half million. And we're now selling this in the US. We launched the pilot, which is extremely successful. And we're busy now scaling our business with the building of a new 20 ton facility where we uh, received recently Israeli Ministry of Health GMP and ISO certifications. And we're now final stages of our biological technology transfer to unleash more vineyard on the United States of America and really start to scale the business. We also have in our pipeline, olive cells and pomegranate cells, each with their unique functional benefits. As I said, great product results that we have in the US. We have a 4.8 out of five uh, rating. Go and check out the ratings, Re read the reviews. You will see how as a result of the unique solubility and bioavailability that we have, <clears throat> that we're able to really significantly transform consumers' lives from an overall health and wellness perspective. Okay, so that's the platform and helping you understand the validation of the platform with products that we brought to market with great success. We then, three years ago, embarked on a bold, audacious, and brave journey to go after the cannabis plant. Probably one of the most complicated plants in the plant kingdom. And in fact, I'm sitting here in Tel Aviv, Israel, and I think people understand the legacy and the history of cannabis knowledge and capability in the Israeli market. And the giants of the industry, when they understood we were utilizing our platform technology, they turned around and said, we think it's impossible. Well, when you tell five Israeli top PhD female biologists that something is impossible, you know it's going to happen. It's just a question of when. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. And we have really broken barriers of biological wisdom. We have been able to do the impossible in bringing a unique grade of cannabis to the marketplace without having to grow the plant. So let me talk you through how we've done this and help you understand a little bit about our journey. Again, platform technology, working through the same process. We take the plant once, in this case, we're isolating the key cells that we're going after. We have a, an actual cell bag. We've been using the same reservoir of cells for the last three years to grow our cannabis. We biosolicit and go through the biosolicitation process of our, of our um, cannabis in bioreactors. And in fact, in this context, as part of the biosolicitation process, we have been able to grow trichomes in liquid media. We are, and I'm very proud to say, the only company in the world that has been able to grow trichomes in liquid media. This was an enormous challenge for our biologists. There was no literature out there talking about how to go, how to actually grow trichomes, the critical mini factories of the actual cannabis plant producing the cannabinoids, terpenes and flavonoids in a bioreactor. And today we grow 93% of what we grow in our bioreactors is the trichome itself through our biosolicitation process. And then we move through into a harvesting and drying process. And what's important to understand that when we grow our cannabis, we do not grow, go through the traditional seedling and vegetative stage. We skip it, we simply skip it. We are in perpetual flowering, which is why we are able to do 13 cycles per year. So we're literally every three to four weeks, we are flowering versus best in class 
that gets you maybe four to six cycles per year from an indoor growth perspective. So here I want to share with you pictures that are better than a thousand words. And I want to make sure I have time for questions. So I want to share with you a few key visuals to help you understand the, the literally the gravity of what we've been able to achieve from an overall biological breakthrough perspective. Obviously, on the left-hand side, we have the power of nature. On the right-hand side, we have the power of our bioplant solicitation process where we're growing trichomes without having to grow the plant. Here now, I'm zooming in, okay? I'm zooming into the trichome, and you can start to see unique biological structures that we've been able to create which is one of the key elements of our IP. Because what you see here, when you're looking closer, you see a number of literally thousands of trichomes or amalgamated together in structures that look like coral. We call these amalgamated trichome coral structures. And this is the power of the, the, the brilliance of the biologist, because these structures are so important. Because when we grow, these trichomes in our industrial size bioreactors. We are pumping, obviously, air into the bioreactors and there are shear forces that are affecting the trichome. And as we know that nature adapts itself to its environment. So these trichomes, they all bunch together in order to protect each other and form these unique coral structures so they're able to grow through the phase, the right, the corrective phases in the bioreactor in the bioreactor process. And this is a very, very unique breakthrough that allowed us to really start to scale our technology into large size bioreactors. And I'll do a little bit of show and tell here. Hopefully you can see me. I'm a six foot two guy, <laughs> relatively tall. And a bioreactor is literally. Think about it, it's a little bit taller than me, a little bit wider than me. And these bioreactors are producing kilos of trichome biomass. And this unique breakthrough from a biological perspective, the amalgamated trichome structure allows us to do this with perfection. And now I'm zooming in even more and you can see how beautiful these trichomes are looking. And boom, we're now looking at the same aspect. And we can see that we're 100 to 200 times the density of trichomes versus the plant on an overall square uh, footage of a square centimeter, in fact, of overall land. So hopefully that's helpful for you. That's, hopefully that's helpful for you to understand the power of what we've done. And ladies and gentlemen, we've grown kilograms of product. We have industrial sized bioreactors growing kilograms. And I think the best way to show you the magic, I'm going to share with you a short one and a half minute video. So enjoy the ride. Okay, I think it's important to help 
identify the uniqueness of our technology, of our bioplant solicitation technology across critical parameters that an investor would be looking at as it relates to any type of medicinal active ingredient, specifically cannabis, and how across these critical aspects, we, our technology platform, compares to conventional farming or extraction and compared to biosynthesis. Obviously, what's critical to understand, we have unique production costs, very low capex. I'm gonna share with you this in more detail. Our land efficiency is crazy. As I shared before, we have you know, literally very low production cycle times, 13 cycles per year. We have a unique level of purity and consistency that the market has not seen before. Importantly, we are full spectrum composition. This is the power of our platform technology as it relates to your, your cannabinoids, your terpenes, and compared to biosynthesis, where you're dealing with singular isolates. And importantly, we are non-GMO compared to biosynthesis, which is genetically modified. These are the major differences as we start to understand the power of our platform versus other technologies out, out, out there. Now, from an overall perspective, as it relates to the actual um, scalability, we just built a 20 ton facility. That facility will cost us um, all in maximum $4 million in CapEx, 1200 square meters of land, that facility will house 220 to 240 bioreactors, and that will produce for us at a overall direct to consumer perspective, $40 million in potential revenue per year. These metrics relate to our vineyard product. Obviously from a cannabis perspective, we would be looking at a greater revenue potential based on the dollars per kilo that our unique proposition, we believe it will command in the marketplace because of the unique composition and unique utility. So there are very few technologies out there where you can spend $4 million. It took us in a very challenging year of supply chain, 12 months that can deliver at full capacity upwards of $40 million in revenue per year. So this just helps you understand the power of scalability. Sustainability is at the core of everything we do. We're deeply passionate about this. We're a purpose-driven company. Um, our purpose is all around making sure we're creating human utility value, dramatically changing the lives of people's overall health and wellness in a positive way, but doing that in a way that leaves the environment in a better place for our children and grandchildren. We, ha we, we have 100% biodegradable wastewater. We have no fertilizers, no heavy metals, no solvents are used. And obviously from a overall energy efficiency perspective, we are very, very unique. As we look to bring our, our products to market in the future, we are busy now investigating the appropriate B2B channels, uh, as it relates to pharma ingredient APIs, uh, as, a, as a we're looking at providing, you know, in, in some respects, hemp-based CBD product to major players out there that are looking for consistency and purity, which uh, has been very, very challenged right now in the marketplace. And we're able to deliver on that every single day. And then obviously from a D2C perspective, we are as well investigating the approaches from a route to market in the medicinal cannabis space, as well as hemp-based uh, dietary, uh, hemp-based CBD dietary supplements. More to come in this area, but importantly, the uniqueness of the 93% trichomes is a critical point of difference, um, underpinned by unique fingerprint consistency, a unique level of cleanliness, sustainability credentials that are best in class in the marketplace. And obviously, you know, we have a cost structure that allows us to do this, which can you know, generate significant positive margins very early in our life cycle stage. I'm very proud to say 
I have an amazing uh, management team and leadership team that partners with me every single day to bring this technology to the market, significant experience. In addition, we have a very unique uh, advisory team, really a power team that we've built. You guys can have a quick scan of the names there, but in the cannabis world, we have Eitan Popper, who was the chairman of Med, uh, the president of MedRelief, and uh, really is a significant partner helping us define our cannabis strategy. We obviously also have a very strong medical advisory board, and I'm very happy to say our most recent member, who was really most impressed with our technology and the application of our technology to grow human utility value is uh, Colonel Chris Hatfield, that many of you may be aware of as probably one of the most experienced astronauts um, who is partnering with us to really look at how we leverage the power of our technology platform and leverage the power of microgravity out there to continuously drive improvements. We've got a really strong capability build. Um, as I said, it's been a, a, an amazing 12 years since we started the company. We built a very strong brain with best in class R&D, clinical research, end-to-end -end manufacturing and technology processes. And then more recently, we've built the commercial machine as we've done with Vinia to be able to actually demonstrate the ability to validate the power of our technology platform and take products all the way through from conceptualization all the way through commercialization. And today, for example, in the case of Vinia, we have 11,000 customers that we, we're serving over the past 12 months. And that's amazing. It's all direct to consumer. Uh, so it's a, a unique relationship, amazing transfer of knowledge to us on the power of the products and the platform. We've invested actually now close to $50 million in the company. We have multiple patents, multiple patents uh, pending, a number of different clinical trials published and reviewed in scientific journals, and um, a number of other scientific studies. I talked a little bit about our, our manufacturing. Um, we've built strong regulation as well, which is an important part of the program. And we also have a very um, effective B2B arm with uh, industry leaders like Batori Foods, who is our partner in this area. They're the number one food ingredients only distributor in the USA. And they are open to, able to open the doors for us to every major FMCG and nutrition company out there. I talked a little bit, a bit before about Chris Hatfield and how we're trying to make sure that not only are we the biotech plant cell leaders in, on earth, but we're making sure we're taking that leadership and we're leveraging the power of outer systems to be able to bring back to earth and ensure that we can look at ways to further improve our products. And that's all about, for example, understanding the impact of microgravity on plant cell growth and look out for some more interesting news in this area. So in summary, I'm very proud to say we're the global leader in plant cell biology. We have a very unique platform technology that has a very broad uh, addressable market. Uh, you've seen the approach that we've taken and how we've leveraged this technology for, um, for cannabis and the, with the ability of growing full spectrum non-GMO cannabis without growing the plant. Scalability is unique compared to other industry standards. We have a very strong IP platform and overall team capability. Um, huge opportunities and looking forward to really bringing our products to the marketplace. And as we look to build, a, our intention is to build a multi-billion dollar biotech company, purpose-driven, focused on improving health and wellness, leveraging the, leveraging the power of our platform technology across multiple verticals, of which obviously cannabis is a key vertical for us because we believe we can come into the marketplace and drive significant new use cases as we look to bring the power of the plant to the people. Thank you very much. I'll end up on that. I think we have a few minutes for questions. Um, and um, if you have any questions, you can send them to info at bioharvest.com or personally to me at ilan at bioharvest.com. I'm gonna stop sharing and hopefully you can see me. Now you can see me. Somebody told, should have told me to turn the camera on. <laughs> I think it's fine. It 
which we're, we're, we're working hopefully on just the, fine. Hopefully the content allowed people to stay with us. I think so. In terms of a scientific standpoint, I think you take the uh, pinnacle of that. We do have a few questions. First off, can you explain a little bit more what full spectrum means? And is that entailing that a product has THC, CBD, and CBG? So um, a couple of things. So when you look at our technology platform, our technology platform works best when we're leveraging the power of uh, full spectrum. I think we, we're huge believers that full spectrum is, the, is the, the, the route in order to optimize health and wellness. So in our vineyard-based product, we're utilizing a full spectrum of polyphenols all working together. In the case of our cannabis product, where we're producing the trichomes, we're leveraging the power of full spectrum of cannabinoids and terpenes and flavonoids all working together to bring the optimal health and wellness. We, um, we haven't shared yet uh, what, what uh, is the composition of our product. I will tell you, um, and you can look at me carefully, I will tell you that we have unique composition. Um, as a biotech uh, company, IP strategy is the most important thing for us. We're busy just getting our heads around of driving the protection from an IP perspective on our unique composition, which ultimately, when you have unique composition, you're able to drive unique utility uh, from an overall consumer perspective. So, so looking forward, looking forward uh, to share more about that. But yes, full spectrum is the full spectrum, leveraging the power of full spectrum of cannabinoids, flavonoids, terpenes, all working together to be able to give the optimal outcome for the end user. Thank you so much for that. Next question is, when do you think you'll be able to share the composition details on the different cannabis strains that you grow? So, uh, you know, IP strategy, as I said, it's like when you look at a biotech company, IP strategy is what underpins the company. Um, we have spent 12 years building a very robust IP strategy. Um, and uh, we're busy now doing that with our unique composition. We're busy now just ensuring, you know, as it relates to um, all aspects of the IP that we're bulletproof as it relates to our composition. And, um, you know, I, I believe in the near term, we will be releasing that, but uh, we're, we're really excited uh, with, um, with the direction that we're going. And that's why we're putting super efforts to make sure that we have a very robust IP strategy around it. Well, speaking as an outsider, I think your strategy is very strong. And I think that just about takes us to the uh, very end of this presentation. So once again, that was info at BioHarvest. Further questions? Was that the email yeah. you suggested? Yeah, sure. Info at BioHarvest.com. You can also send it directly to Justin. Justin at BioHarvest.com. J-U-S-T-I-N at BioHarvest.com. Justin is our head of uh, investor relations. I will let you know that we, you know, we, we pride ourselves on a very strong SLA service level agreement. When we get questions from our investor partners or pers prospective investors, we have an SLA of, of two working days and we get back to everybody. So please feel comfortable to send, if, if there's anything that I haven't covered in my presentation and there's additional questions, myself and Justin will work together to make sure you get the answers that you need to really understand the power of the company and the power of our technology to really make a difference to the world as we bring the power of plants to the people. Thank you so much for Justin for that. <laughs> so well, sorry. Um, once again, I'd like to thank you so much for joining us and I'd like to thank all of our Money Show attendees for coming. That just about concludes this presentation. So stick around if you're looking for more cannabis info in the next five to 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.